जायते न मृयते वा कदाचिन There's something that within us that is never dies, never takes birth. Something that is always there, and that is yeah, which Krishna says also: "Mama evam shoji valoke jiva bhuta sanatana sanatana." Lord has used the word word sanatan. Hmm? Probably have heard this word. आयक लगा शब्द सनातन सनातन मीन्स इटर्नल सो दैट सोल सोल इज इटर्नल एंड दैट सोल इज पार्ट ऑफ कृष्णा पार्ट ऑफ द लॉर्ड वे आर कृष्णाज people hari hari we are children of krishna our father is same father common father of all of us hmm hindi chini bhai bhai hmm I had heard this when I was a boy. We were shouting this slogan: "Hindi chini, bhai bhai. Hindi chini, Hindi chini, Hindi chini. Bhai bhai means brothers. Bhai bhai, that's brothers. But Hindi is a bhasha, the language, and chini is something that you eat, sugar. They're supposed to be brothers." And I was thinking, how could the language, Bhasha, Hindi, and sugar that you eat, could how could they be brothers? <laughs> so then, when I grew a little bigger, then I understood Hindi refers to people of Hindustan, Indians, and Chini refers to people of China. So that was making some sense. People, all people of China, all people of India are brothers. But how could two persons be brothers? Or when? When could two persons be called brothers? Same father, common father. So when? Then I. I came to Krishna consciousness. This was way back in seventy-two, seventy-one, and then I read Bhagavad Gita as it is. I heard Prabhupada's talks on Bhagavad Gita. You are also reading. Then I found Krishna's statement that. He said, "Aham bijaha pradaha pita, mata dhata pita maha." Hmm? <clears throat> I am the seed-giving father of all the living entities. Then there was complete understanding. People of China, all people of China, all people of India, they are brothers because Krishna says he is a. Father of all living entities. And the president there is not father. President of China, our Prime Minister of India, Modi, is he father of all of us? No. Certainly not. <laughs> <clears throat> so they're not just people of India and China, but people of. All the countries, Ireland, Netherlands, hmm? low land, no man's land. They <laughs> say so many lands. So people everywhere, their father is the same. 
Some know him, some don't know him. But the fact is, fact cannot be changed. <clears throat> so by chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. We become realized. You heard of God realization, self realization, which is a goal of life to realize the self. Eat, sleep, meet, repeat. I was coming here as the big signboard. I think there's some hotel nearby or this. Mm -hmm. Is it? You eat, sleep, meet, repeat. <laughs> and life goes on like this. Huh? Eat, sleep, met also. Meeting, meeting, defending, and repeat. <clears throat> so, uh, so by chanting uh, Hare Krishna and by reading Bhagavad Gita, hearing the Lord, then we will come to the senses. We would know a lot of things which we do not know right now. Because we are what we are studying is, is biology and botany and you know, physics and chemistry and cosmology and you know, information and technology and this and that. Basically we are studying the matter, dead matter. The subject of our study is not a spirit. We are not studying spirit. No one is teaching, no one is learning. We know about everything else but ourselves. We don't have everything else. We know Bhugol, we know Khagol. Hmm? But ultimately it's a big goal, hmm? big circle. Feto darpana marjanam A chanting of Hare Krishna. You know that mantra also? Feto darpana marjanam. You are quite advanced students. I'm just talking of ABC to you, but you... They have undergone some higher education. You know, even, hey, hurry, hurry. Hey, that's the people of Okay. I just arrived also. <laughs> just saying a few words to our assembled friends here. You may take a seat here or uh, I just relax. This is why I said, keep Prabhu. Give Hari Bow, bring Hari Bow to why I said, keep Prabhu. Okay. <sighs> we are good old friends. 43 years. 40, yeah, for uh, 43 years. We are more than friends, we are brothers also. God brothers. We were in Bombay together. Jehu Bombay.
And Prabhu just spent many years in Bangladesh. Mm, Bangladesh, Ben. He's a fluent in Bengali. I also came to your hometown, Parawadi, for the installation of your deities. Yeah, you are. You are around everywhere. Yeah. Arriba. And Prabhuji Singh is one of the leading top-notch singer, musician for, for the Lord. Bengali bhajans, when you hear him sing Bengali bhajan, you cannot tell whether it's Bengali singing or American. He's on the microphone. Even I cannot manage singing Bengali versions like him. And of course, Hare Krishna. He sings all the time. And that's all that you do, right? Also, he's a writer, author. Yeah, I have five Five books to his credit. So you are very lucky, very fortunate to have Vayasati Prabhu amongst us, amongst you here this evening. <coughs> So, uh, like this, we are a, we're a big family. In fact, there is but one family in the world. With Krishna in the center, or Krishna as father, or Krishna as a mother. Tvameva mata, tvameva pita, tvameva bandhu, tvameva sakha, like that. It is, you understand, right? I think there's no need to translate this. And the Vedic hymns also say that was Vasudeva Kutumbakam the word Kutumba means family is used. Our, our Kutumba, our family is how big is our family? Vasudha Vasudha means planet, earthly planet. Vasudheva. It is as big as the earthly planet. Our people, all the people of the, this planet are Part of our family, and there is just but one family. So when you become Krishna conscious, hmm, this is International Society for Krishna Consciousness. So when you become Krishna Consciousness, then you you understand these truths. I was thinking that then we establish this truth, I was saying. But there's, we don't establish the truth exists, exists. Satyameva jayate, satyameva jayate, only truth prevails. But we are full of ignorance and Krishna kindly 
is making us knowledgeable by speaking to us. Well, he spoke to Arjun. But, uh, he meant to speak to all of us, but he, he spoke to just one person, and that was good enough. And that's like talking to each one of us for all the time, generation after generation. And Krishna, Lord is like that. His speech is like that. <clears throat> so, uh, it would be such a wonderful thing. This world would be a better world if Krishna consciousness would spread all over and people would accept Krishna as our eternal father. Or Krishna would. I mean, he's giving intelligence like that, but we don't accept. He says, I'm sitting in everyone's heart. Sarva shacha aham radhisanne vishta. When he spoke this, he did not say, oh, in the hearts of Hindus only, okay? Take. There's no footnote that says uh, Indians only, in their Indians' heart only I reside now. He resides in the hearts of all the living entities. Mm, there's a St. Francis of Italy, you heard of that man? Even he was kind of that broad-minded and he had this understanding. Mm, we're all children of God. So he, went, he would address uh, Sister Tree and Brother Moon, and he would address like all the trees and animals. And, uh, hey, brother, your sister, oh, my brother, oh, sister. Oh. So, uh, so the Lord is sitting in the, our hearts. Then he says from... Sorry. From me comes knowledge, remembrance, and forgetfulness. From him comes knowledge, comes from him. If someone is ignorant, God is the one who has made him ignorant or is giving lots of ignorance, supplying lots of ignorance so that he would remain. And this is his wish, this is what he's aspiring to become, remain ignorant. So knowledge, ignorance, forgetfulness comes from him. And he's the one who says, ah, I don't exist. Those who say, God does not exist, but he's the one. <laughs> Lord sitting in the heart, okay, go ahead, say it. I don't like this. Yeah, this is something uh, like you go to, uh, you would like to meet your friend, go to his house here at the, at the entrance, you knock the door or ring the bell. And a lot of time, children are the first ones to come to the door. They are very anxious, they are curious. So. Others remain busy, but children are the first ones. They run. So the child had come, and then the gentleman, maybe he was Patil, and he inquired, is, is uh, Patel, is Patel G here? I would like to see him. So the little boy goes around, it's a big house, Patel has a big house, so he's finding, looking for his daddy, finally found him, and he says, Daddy, Daddy, that Mr. Patil, he would like to see him. The daddy is not interested in seeing him, oh, that, uh, Patel. again, he says, 
Tell him I am not here. <laughs> so Charles is back at the door, and what does Charles say? My father said, <laughs> I am not here. My father said, I am not here. So it's just like that. So there are but only two parties in this world. One is called Astik, the other one is Nastik. Asti means there is. Uh, who is there? It's talking about God. And God is there. God is there. Those who say, admit, realize, or worship, and take to that path of God consciousness, Krishna consciousness, or Astik, the other part is. Gnostic. No, he is not there. He doesn't exist. He doesn't. So, source is the same. If someone says and realizing God exists, that also has source in God. And one who says, oh, he doesn't exist. He's not there. Who has seen God? So that also, <clears throat> oh, well. so I am Nija, those who are Krishna conscious, you know, they are broad-minded people, broad-minded. They could accommodate the whole world in their heart. And accept everybody as part of their family. But those who think, oh, I am Nijaha, these are my people, I am Nijaha, Paraha Vetti, Ganana Lagu Chaitasa. So those who make this kind of discrimination, my people, oh, no, no, these are some outsiders. This is Ganana Lagu Chaitasa, Lagu. Lagu means uh, narrow or light or shallow or hol hollow, lagu, halkat in Marathi, <laughs> a word for you, halkat. Mm. Guru means bhari, mm. bajandar, heavy. Mm. So these are the two, lagu, guru. So this Lagu party, hmm? small-minded party, narrow-minded party, low-minded, low thinkers think, I am Nijaha, Parha Vedi. Ganana Lagu Chaitasam, Udarachari, Udarachari Tanam Tu Vasudhai Vakutambakam. Those are Udar, or those are Gurus, or connected with the Gurus. In parampara, their thought is Vasudeva Kutambukam. This everybody is part of my family. You know how much hatred that goes on, the hate speech. Well, it's not only speech, but deeds. You know. Some killing happened, some stabbing happened a few days ago. Or, you heard of it? It's an everyday affair. It's <laughs> <laughs> <So> nothing new. <laughs> yeah, so the, the wars are happening, the battles are happening, the, and fighting is everywhere. Oh, because people are hate, I can't stand it. Get out of here. I don't want to see your face. So, uh, <clears throat> so like this, the world is getting fragmented and uh, and as a result, this world is 
becoming unlivable. Condition is like that when we are the doers of that situation. Hurry, hurry. So this International Society for Krishna Consciousness, whose founder Acharya is Srila Prabhupada Ki. Bhakti Vedan Swami Srila Prabhupada. On behalf of the Lord and on behalf of all the saintly devotees of the Lord, is he inaugurated this propagation of this Krishna consciousness. And this Krishna consciousness moment is uniting people. Yeah, like I mentioned, we've... Yeah, he's from big country, America. And, uh, I'm just from one time third world country, but now it is becoming <laughs> superpower of India. <clears throat> but we uh, we are brothers. We are friends. We are part of one family. So what unites, what yeah, is Krishna, Krishna is uniting us. Otherwise there's so much division. Uh, the attempt is, was, is being made on the global level to unite the people of the world under the banner of a UNO, United Nation of the, not the spiritual world, <laughs> United Nations, United Nations Organization. It has a headquarter in, in New York. When our Prabhupada passed by that building, he used to take note. Oh, there's another flag. After a few months, four or five months, oh, another flag. Oh, another one. Then you would say, what kind of United Nation is this? It's a disunited nations. Mm, splitting, splitting, splitting. In fact, only very recently, just 5,000 years ago, mm, the whole, whole planet was one country, Bharat Varsha. Just last week I was in a place called Hastinapur. You heard that name, Hastinapur? Yes. Yes. Not New Delhi, it's Indra Prastha. Hastinapur is another town. It's between Hari, Haridwar and Delhi. Not right on the way, but it's a little interior. Over there, uh, just at the outskirts of Hastinapur, Srila Shukde Goswami spoke Bhagavatam to King Parikshit. So we had some thousand ISKCON devotees. We traveled there and we, we recited Srimad Bhagavatam in the same spot where Shukde Goswami sat and spoke. So then I, I was made to sit and speak in the same spot. And there were 4,000 devotees. So that was next door, just outskirts of Hastinapur. Hastinapur was a capital of the world. It's a history. Mahabharata. <laughs> Mahabharata is a history. Mahabharata is a... It's 
So, uh, and the emperors rule the entire planet. So, so, but with the advent of this age of Kali, hmm? Kali, you heard of Kali, Kali Yuga. And people are so ignorant, they don't even know Kali Yuga. What to speak of Sati Yuga and Treta Yuga and Dwapar Yuga and Kali Yuga. Mm, they are Lagu Chaitasam, narrow minded, low minded, ignorant. Like a frog in the well. Huh? How much frog would know? Hmm? His knowledge is limited to the well. And another frog from the ocean comes and he says, uh, so frog in the well is asking, how big is your ocean? Oh, my ocean is where I reside, very big, huge. Oh. Is it uh, twice big as my well? Is it twice as big? No, 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 much bigger. Four times? No, no, no. Like that. So how? He's going to be thinking only in terms of hmm, his well, his experience, his knowledge, his well. It's not very well, <laughs> but well <laughs> limited. So uh, the generation that are being produced all over the planet is like very limited knowledge. So we're talking about you know, 5,000 year old Hastinapur. And and like there are so many places in India. Ayodhya is uh, there for one million years. For I was in Los Angeles and uh, they were celebrating uh, the anniversary of the town. And once upon a time, they, they thought long, long time ago this Los Angeles was established, uh, the settlement, and then gradually it grew in size. So they were celebrating the anniversaries of the city. So I asked one gentleman while I was there, how, how old is uh, Los Angeles? He said, very old. <laughs> mm, by saying this, he wanted to make it older. Very old. I said, how old? He said, 200 years old. <laughs> wow. It's a wow factor. Right? So some cities, being a 200-year-old is very old. So, it's like that. And we, we know the towns. I mean, Kali Yuga began 5,000 years ago. And Kali, yeah, Kali Yuga is 5,000 years. But, you know, this time factor that The Vedas deal with the Vedic time is yet another dimension. And the Kali Yuga is 400,000, 432,000 years long. Four lakhs in Indian way of saying. Four lakhs and 32,000 years. Those many years in Kali Yuga. You make that twice as big, that is Dwapar Yuk. Three times as long, Treta. Four times, Satya Yuk. 
and you put all those four ages together, then there's one cycle of these four ages. And you multiply that by thousand, that makes Brahma's one day, which does not include the night. <laughs> so you have to multiply that by two, and then the night is also included. And that is just one day we are talking. And then weeks and months and years. And he, yeah, he lives 100 years long. And right now he's about 50 years old. Brahma is 50 years old. Sometimes they show him with a gray beard and hair. I think that's not correct. <laughs> he's not that old to have a gray beard. And hair. He's just, just turning. It's a Purvardha and Uttarardha. That's how they calculate. He's just is doing a, a transition from Purvardha to Uttarardha, 50 entering early 50s. And then 100 years of Brahma is equal to one breath of Mahavishnu. 100 years of Brahma. His whole entire lifespan is one, just but one breath of, of Mahavishnu. God is great. Hmm? They say, Prabhupada said, they say God is great, but they don't know how God is great. This is, this is just one instance uh, to realize how God is great. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, by spreading this, this knowledge, which is about, it's about you and me, real, real you and real myself. Mm. Capture real you. <laughs> I was in New Delhi and there, there's some mobile company. I don't know which brand, but I don't want to say it. They were, the selfies is very big hobby or big fashion. Selfies, because selfie, dead. You become self uh, photographer, uh, yourself. Uh, you don't need photographer and then you and photographer, no, you are yourself, selfie. You're selfish or something, you're taking a selfie. So they were advertising, capture real you. <laughs> like you laughed. Yes. That's not real you. Tomi Navis. Tomi Navis. That's not you. Well, that, that's you, you now, but that wasn't you 20 years ago. And that is not going to be you 20 years from now. Hmm? So how is that real you? That is present you, yeah, the present you, but that's not real you. You have to, uh, yeah, so if I had to find out our real, real you, real, eternal you. Mm? Krishna is eternal, we are eternal, and we have eternal relationship with the Lord. But eternally His, The people are just You heard that conversation between scientists and the boatman? You did? Yeah? 
was crossing Ganga. Maybe scientists from Kolkata want to take a ride, go across Ganga. And, and then they were having dialogue in the middle of the, their journey, boat journey. The scientist was asking, hey, boatsman, what? Have you learned what? Computer science? What is that computer? And I haven't learned. Then scientists say, hey, twenty-five percent of your life is wasted. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama. That's all that he knew. So he was doing. No, I don't know. So after a few minutes, he said, Hey! What about the cosmology? Cosmology? Where does it grow? On some tree. No, I don't know. Oh, then 50% of your life is wasted. And he's going on with his Hare Krishna. And then, uh, so down the road after a few more minutes. Oh, what about what? Information technology. I don't know. 75% of your life is. Then soon, climatic changes took place. And the wind was blowing. And board started. Mm, was turbulent. And board was just making rounds and situation was like topsy turvy. They could drown. And then it was now turn off the boardsman. Horseman said, hey, dear scientist, do you know swimming? <laughs> swimming? No, no, I don't know swimming. <laughs> then what? Your 100% of your life is going to be soon finished. And while he not even did not finish saying this, the big blow of the wind and the boat turned upside down. And it's good to have a boat in the water. But if there's a water in the boat, <laughs> not good. Boat in the water is desirable. So now the water was in the boat and scientists drowned while the boatsman he knew swimming and he especially knew Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So everyone else is going to be drowning in this ocean of material existence, except those who chant Hare Krishna. Those who chant Hare Krishna is going to cross or go across beyond this world back to back to the Lord. Hare Bo. So we are inviting everyone to come join us. Join these Hare Krishnas in chanting and dancing and study Bhagavad Gita also and honor Prashadam.
and propagate these values, this truth around you. And as bigger circle that you could make all the people around you, your neighbors, your friends, your family members. Okay? So what I'm thinking, I did the talking part. You could take over. And if you wish, you could also, you may talk or singing is also Singing includes the talk. There's no need of talk. And uh, I could... I had a big day and I had a long travel. And there's more traveling is ahead of me. I, I have not reached my destination. Yes and no. You have reached your destination. <laughs> when I said that, I was a temple president of our Bhaktivedanta Manor. He shared this. Now he was driving, and uh, his uh, what they call it, GPS. Yes. Yeah. GPS was on. And he was traveling and traveling and traveling. In fact, he was attending funeral ceremony. He had to attend funeral ceremony that, that day. So when they reached that location, this GPS machine said, you have reached your... <laughs> or reach your final destination. I reach your... So, so he had heard this before, machines saying that, but that day, it made some, some sense. Oh, he had reached your final destination. The cremation. Yeah. But that's not our devotee's final destination is. Krishna's lotus feet or going back to Vaikunt and that then you have reached a final destination. Okay, so is that okay, you take over? And uh, yes, it's your forte chanting and uh, is that okay, Mother? I also yeah. No, it's never small, that's why. <laughs> so, I, I tried. Yes, it's okay. Yeah, all right. So, uh, thank you very much. I was very...